There's a new law aimed at preventing a tragedy that's happening all too often. A child accidentally killed by the family's SUV, backing over them right in their own driveway. Long Island reporter Rob Hoyle tells us about this very important action from Huntington. It happens every day. A child is killed or seriously injured after being run over in their own driveway. We never thought this would happen to us because we were careful. We knew where our children were at all times. You can't always count on that. Three years ago, Adrian and Bill Nelson lost their 16-month-old son, Alec. So many others, including pediatrician Greg Branson, share their pain. One night, backing up the car, I, I accidentally backed over my two-year-old son, who, for the first time in his life, got out of the house with the door closed. It's not about parental negligence that these children are going behind these vehicles. It's the fact that you can't see behind you when you back up. Nationwide, about 50 kids a week are accidentally run over. So after years of lobbying, the Nelsons helped get Alex's law on the books in Suffolk County, requiring all SUV dealerships to give accident prevention info to anyone who buys a new or used SUV. We hope if just one pamphlet given out saves one family from going through this. It was so worth all the efforts. Anne Marie Shabilsky is one of the lucky ones. After a number of life-saving surgeries, her son Robert survived being crushed underneath his father's pickup. Statistics show in some of the larger SUVs, a child that is about two feet tall can't even be seen from about 70 feet away. So you can only imagine how dangerous it can be when a child is right behind the car. And although it's not required by law, more and more SUVs are coming out with cameras and backup sensors. This is proximity sensor. When, when you're backing up, it'll beep. The closer you get to the object, the louder the and more frequent people get. Sensors and cameras that can easily be installed on any car or SUV, eliminating blind zones. So a child standing behind a vehicle that otherwise wouldn't be seen is clear as day. Rob Hoyle for the CW11 News at 10.